Hi, and welcome back. Now that we're already getting into episode number eight, it might be a good idea to talk about the proper way to use the free shear and its cutting technique. So, when you start working with the tree shear, there's a few important things that you should always keep in mind. Uh, for the maximum safety and the efficiency of the cutting, you should tilt the tree shear downwards a little bit and angle it like this when you're uh, cutting the tree. This will make it so that it's safer for you to cut down the tree and push a little bit with the excavator at the same time and there's uh, then no danger of the tree being angled towards your excavator. If you are using the brush grapple, which is basically a brush blade welded right on the bottom of the main grapple, uh, this same cutting position tilted downwards is even more important for you. Because when you're doing the cutting and possibly uh, also pushing with the excavator from the back a little bit to help the uh, cutting process, uh, the Hardox 500 blade will basically uh, bend a little bit downwards. But if you were doing it the other way around where the shear would be tilted upwards, uh, this could cause uh, the brush grapple and the main blade uh, to collide on each other and cause damage. So keep that in mind. To achieve the maximum cutting power, you should always align the tree into the home base of the shear so that it's at the start of the main grab and at the start of the main blade here. Basically like this. When approaching the tree, tilt the shear downwards. While cutting, a little simultaneous push with the excavator will ease the cutting, especially with harder material. Aligning the tree correctly at the start of the blade in the home base is the correct way to do things. This will cause you to have the maximum benefit of the tree sliding along the whole length of the blade while pushing it with the main grapple. Especially when working with the tree tops, don't do this. Always tilt the shear downwards to protect yourself and the equipment in question. When cutting, always make sure to squeeze the tree firmly into your grip by fully closing the main grapple. In the past episodes, we've gone through a lot about the base shear and its most important attachments, the collector and the limber, but there's still plenty to cover. In the next episode, uh, we'll be discussing the tilt units and Patrick will take the lead there. Now, thanks for watching and as always, see you next time.